How are you and the team and the players going to get involved with the community this year? Uh, so, events like these, for sure. I mean, a few weeks ago we had a local player tryout, and there was, uh, I think, over 100 local athletes that came to play with us, um, show their stuff. And then events like this, you know, whenever we can have them, and it, it meshes well with our schedule, um, I encourage the players to really come in and, uh, and help out as much as they can around the community. I moved my whole family here, so we are the community now, right? I mean, we live in Long Island, so uh, we just want to really make the community we live in really something special. So I just want to encourage the players to do that and the coaching staff to do that as well. Coach, where did you move from and what's been your kind of resume and experience up till now? Good question. So I'm from Canada originally. Uh, so I moved, uh, most of you probably know Toronto. Right now, in Toronto, but it's four hours north of Toronto, so even colder. So right now, it's really nice out. And where I was last year, it's starting to snow. I guess so. It's a little bit colder. The temperature's a little different, uh, different here. Um, but yeah, so that's I coached at a university in Canada for 15 years, and I played I played overseas for 10 years after I was done uh, at the university. Playing overseas and coaching, have you run into any? well-known basketball players that have either played in the NBA or the G League or very well-known overseas? Oh, yeah. Okay, so the names I'm going to mention are probably uh, way older than you think, but Al Iverson, Tim Duncan, Ray Allen, um, obviously Steve Nash. Um, those are the kind of guys that I kind of grew up playing against with national teams and, and the likes. With this being your first year with the Long Island Nets, what are you most excited about? Um, just the whole experience. Uh, we moved, like I said, we moved, my whole family moved down here, and we were really trying to enjoy Long Island, enjoy New York, um, specifically with the Long Island Mets. I'm just looking forward to coaching professional athletes. So I've been a player, a professional player, but as a coach, I've always been a university coach. So, you know, the academics were at the forefront of, of things at the university. But now I'm with a professional team where it's really the athletics part is the most important. So. I'm really looking forward to, to coaching these athletes and trying to help them improve and reach their goals. So that goes for the coaching staff and um, for the players and for their organization, for all of us just to be better people and, and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, try to win a championship. I'm very happy that you said academics is very important. Um, and with you helping out in this clinic today, what is some advice and tips for these youth basketball players that you can give? Well, I was once, uh, just like, just like many of you, I came to a basketball camp and really kind of fell in love with the game of basketball. Um, now being Canadian, I also fell in love with the game of hockey. So I played a little bit of hockey and a little bit of basketball, but the biggest thing is whatever sport I was doing, I really tried to dive into it and, and learn as much as I could about from it and actually really compete. So, you know, today we were doing mostly fundamental things and some skill work. And then we slowly got into some competition stuff where there's some five on five and some one on one. So I think for for at this age, it's really trying to find something you really love to do. If you love to play basketball, then go play basketball. You can watch it uh, online, you can watch TV with it, right? There's all kinds of games and aspects where you can learn more about it. But I would think more just go play, right? Go play. Don't wait for your parents to schedule something to go do it. Maybe grab a friend and say, hey, let's go to the court and just shoot around and play one on one. Or, have a shooting competition. And so those are the things I would, I would encourage you to, to keep trying to do. If you're already doing them, if you haven't done them, try and do them now. So on top of that, and coming to Long Island Nets games, how else can the young fans stay connected with the game of basketball? And is there anyone in your life that's been a huge role model that some of these players might also be looking for, looking up to as a role model? Yeah, that's great. I think for me, I have, uh, I have two sisters, two older sisters and a brother. So. They were my role models. They played all kinds of sports, and I just went to the gyms or the arenas wherever they were playing and watched them play. And kind of really wanted to do that myself. So I lived within my family for for my role models. But I watched sports just like most of you are. I watched basketball. I really loved Michael Jordan and Donnie Golding. So I try to emulate my game after that. Not great great choices of not even close to as athletic as they were, but I, I really loved watching them play. So I would think find somebody in the NBA that you'd like to watch. Um, and then I would think locally, just look in your community, right? Come and watch us play, see if there's players on our team that you really like and you want to kind of 
be ready to game after. Um, but within your families, the community you find some people that you can find role models there. Um, that's that's what I would say. What do you enjoy the most about coaching, and what do you think is going to be very exciting this year with the team? Um, coaching, for me, I kind of went from playing to coaching a month later, so it came in quickly. I didn't really have a, uh, a chance to think about why I got into coaching, I just kind of did. Um, but over the years now, it's been 15 years of coaching. So like every year, it's just, I fall in love with the players and helping them get better, and helping them improve, and, and really, like I said earlier, helping them achieve their goals. I'm talking about their goals, practice, right? What do you guys want to get better at as a player? on and off the court. And really just seeing that, you know, as a university coach, seeing it three or four years after, then coming back to me and, and you know, telling me where they are right now, you know, whether it's family or no family, or, or a job, what they're doing, and just finding how to help them, guide them in some way, and help them achieve their goals. Because ultimately, it's, it's on them to do it, but I just love directing them in the right area. So that's what I fell in love with most. Um, and I'm hoping to just see the same thing here. You know, I think uh, with Long Island, a lot of the players have big aspirations to to win a championship, to improve themselves, and, and, and get to the NBA one day. So I'm just hoping that I can help them lead them in the path to, to do that. And it's an exciting basketball for me. I think hopefully some of you have seen uh, games in person already and, and watched it at least online maybe. And, and it's really exciting to watch uh, G League basketball and, and lots of times, lots of threes, hopefully, um, mixed in with some charges and rebounds. So we're going to open the questions up to you guys. Who has a question for Coach John? Kevin? Do you like basketball or hockey more? <laughs> I like basketball more. I like basketball more. It's a good question though. But yeah, I like basketball. I actually took about, I'd say, 10 years off of hockey and then started playing again when I came back from playing and I enjoyed it again. Um, but definitely basketball. Now, you have a hockey background and a basketball background, so do you also have or know NHL players or players that, that have played professionally hockey-wise? Yeah, so in, uh, I, I lived in Sudbury, Ontario, which is, like I mentioned, Northern Ontario, and there's old alumni NHL guys that, that played in the local league that we would play in. And yeah, so I, I know a few of them and we played with a few of them. Sullivan? No, like I feel like I should say the Islanders, but I just can't. I'm a Pittsburgh Penguins fan. Kelly, two more, two more questions. What's your favorite basketball team? Oh, Long Island Nets. Yeah, of course it's the Long Island Nets. Um, if you're if you're talking NBA, it's the Brooklyn Nets. Um, but growing up, it was it was. It was more following the players. So I definitely like the Chicago Bulls. Like my age kind of dictates that I would potentially like the Lakers, Celtics, or Bulls. But I was definitely a Bulls fan. But now it's yeah, it's broken. One more question, Liv. Liv, what's your favorite team? Why would you decide to do it here? Yeah, that's a really good question. So Sudbury and New York City are almost completely opposites. Um, but. Uh, so one thing was was I played with Steve Nash um, on the national team, and uh, I kind of followed his career, and followed him coaching, and and, uh, and stayed interested, and, and decided that this would be a good place to, to kind of start a, a professional coaching career as opposed to university coaching. But yeah, it was just this was a good place. We found a good school for our, our, our I have two daughters, so we found a really good school for our daughters. So I kind of helped sway the decision from the Long Island. It was. Uh, fit in all categories. Good question, All right, unfortunately, that is our time.